Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, Dan here. In this new video series, I'm going to be walking through how to create a SimCity clone using just HTML and JavaScript. So no fancy UI frameworks or anything like that. I'm just going to be plain old HTML and JavaScript. So this is going to be a 3D clone. So in order to help me with that, I'm going to be using this library called 3JS. So I'm going to be walking through some of the documentation in this video, how to set up a basic 3JS scene. So we have something to start with. Um, but here's some quick examples on their website of things you can do with this. So it's a really full featured framework. It's got some really cool things you can do with animation and skinning, environment reflections. Um, we're not going to be doing anything too crazy in the way of 3D, but We'll be using this to help render our map and the buildings and everything like that. So I've started off by setting up a basic project here. So I have my HTML file and a CSS file, which I've imported. And inside my HTML body, I've created two divs. One is my root window and the other is the render target inside of that root window. So I need to start by importing the 3JS code and setting up that scene. So I'm going to create a new folder in my directory here. And I'm going to create a new file called scene.js. So to import 3JS into our code, we use the following import statement, which I'll just copy and paste. In this file, we're going to create a module that we can export, which handles all of the scene management, the scene creation, everything like that. I'm going to export a function called create scene. So we'll do our initial scene setup right here. So I need to define a game window. So I'm actually going to get the element, which corresponds to our render target. And then we need to create a new scene. This is a 3JS object. We'll set the background of that scene to something other than black. So let's do just kind of a medium gray. And now let's create our camera. So I'm going to use a perspective camera to start with. I might switch to orthographic later on, depending on the, how the game feels. But we need to instantiate our camera with the aspect ratio it's so the aspect ratio of our uh, rendering area so that's width divided by height the near plane distance and the far plane distance so anything closer than the near plane is not rendered and anything past the far plane is not rendered and now we also need to create our renderer so this is our workhorse handles drawing all of our components our meshes so 3GS is based on WebGL, so this is a WebGL renderer. And we need to set the size of the render target to the size of our game window. And finally, we need to append the DOM element associated with the renderer to our game window. So the renderer draws to a canvas, which is this DOM element here. And that will be a child of our render target here. So now we need to set up some methods for the render loop itself. So I actually want to return these methods as an object so that I can access them from my index.html file. Um, let's do it this way. I'll define the functions in here. So we need one called draw. And that just calls the render method on the renderer. So that passes in our scene, which contains all of our mesh data, all of our materials, everything. And the camera, so the renderer knows how to actually render the scene. And then let's create some functions to start and stop the animation loop. So we need to pass in our render method, which is draw. And then let's also add the option to stop it as well. So we just pass in null to set animation loop here. So to pass these methods back to index.html, we return them as an object. 
So we just need start and stop. Draw is a private method that's hidden. Don't need to expose that. So one last thing we need to do here is we need to set up kind of some test geometry just so we can make sure that everything's working. I'll just create a simple box. We start with creating the box geometry, give it a size, just a unit size, and let's create a material to apply to that box. Let's use a basic material. That's just a simple color. Let's give it a color of red. And now we create a mesh which combines the geometry and the material. Finally, we add that to our scene. Okay, so our basic 3GS create scene method is set up here. So it just does the initial setup of the game window, the scene, the camera, the renderer. So all the stuff that we need to actually render a 3D scene. We're creating some basic geometry just so we can test this out. And then we've created our render method called draw. So this will continuously run in a loop and keep rendering the scene over and over again. And we're exposing some start and stop methods to index.html so we can start and stop the rendering. So let's go to our index.html file now and let's import this code. Let's create a new module, or excuse me, create a new script of type module. And we'll import the create scene method from our source file. So we want this to run after the window has already loaded. Let's create a new method here. Let's assign scene variable to our window. And this will be create scene. So window.scene.start allows us to start the scene and render it. And just so you're aware, I've also set up some basic CSS in here to make sure that our root window and our render target are filling the height of the screen. If we don't have these, the height will be zero. So it doesn't really detect any content within those divs. All right, so I think we're all set here. One quick aside, I do have a Visual Studio extension I'm running called Live Server. So this will continually reload my HTML file and all the JavaScript every time I save it. Um, so I don't need to keep reopening it in the browser. So that makes it a lot easier. So let's go over to our browser and close out this. And there we can see the scene is being rendered. I can see the gray background. Um, looks like we have a little annoying white border here. We can fix that, um, but I'm not seeing the cube. And I think I know what the issue is there. So first let's fix that white border. Let's go into our CSS and just set the margin to auto. Let's the margin to zero, I mean. Um, the issue with not seeing the box is our camera is currently at the origin for the scene, the origin for the world. So zero, 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 X, Y, Z, and the same with the mesh that we've created. So we need to move the camera away a bit so that the camera can actually see it. So let's just give it a Z position of five, save that. And there we go. We can see that our cube is being rendered there. Um, right now it looks 2D. Couldn't tell it's 3D just by looking at this. So let's animate this to make sure things are actually, our render cycle is actually working. So in our draw method, let's do mesh rotation.x plus equals 0 0.01. And we'll do the same for the Y rotation. So we'll save that, go back here. And there we can see that our cube is being rendered and it is rotating as we expect it to. All right, so we've set up our basic 3D scene. We can render objects in that scene. We can add objects to the scene. All right, so that wraps up our 3JS setup. So in the next videos, we're gonna get into the actual creation of the logic for the city simulation. So we'll need to draw buildings. We'll need to represent those buildings, the zones, roads, things like that. So those will all be subsequent videos in this series. So thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more.